guys and thank you for clicking onto this video on Streaming Live Academy. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jaber and I write some articles for this site. Now, what I'm bringing to you today is my personal top FPS online maps of all time. If you've followed my YouTube content or followed me on Twitch, twitch.com forward slash Jaber, um, you'd know that I play mainly FPS's and I've played mainly FPS's for years now since I was about nine years old I love them I love going into an online game and lasering something in the back of the head from all the way across the map as rare as it is anyway so without further ado let's get into my top 10 if you like this content then please continue to look around the site and leave a comment down below with your picks. Number 10 is Inferno from the Counter Strike series. So, since this map has been an absolute staple since CS 1.3, with its perfect blend of long range battles from the bottom of mid to the top of mid to its close range battles in the church in B or in A apartments. This map is a great blend of styles. If you're a long range shooter, you can use an AWP on that map. And if you're close quarters orientated, you can use an SMG or a shotgun in the apartment area. Bomb sites aren't too cluttered. There's always an open bit and there are plenty of places to hide to the chagrin of the counter terrorists that will have to come in and defuse that bomb making this a map in which teams will have to work together to get the win. Nine is Blood Gulch on the Halo series. Now this has been in a cup a few of the games and it is a brilliant, brilliant map. Now the rules on this map is typically capture the flag where you need to go to your enemy's base, steal their flag and take it back to yours. But in the middle of all of that you have a open wide canyon-esque battlefield with a building in the middle as your only cover be other than rocks and long hills this map first appeared in halo combat evolved and was remade for halo 2 as coagulation as well as for halo reach as hemorrhage honestly back in the day there was nothing better than teaming up with your mates on a land somewhere find another set of mates and blasting away at each other trying to capture that flag ah rust what can we say about rust the original map where people for 1v1 to settle a dispute this small little square map that was so close quarters combat that if you wanted to snipe on it you had to go up to the top of the big ass tower at the top leaving you open for anyone to use their kill streaks on this map was in call of duty modern warfare 2 and has recently been remade for the latest installation of call of duty modern warfare and we can say it's not lost any of its aesthetic properties or ability to make you absolutely rage while some sod is on top of the tower dropping C4 in your head. Number seven is shipment from the Call of Duty series. Some would argue that this is the main predecessor to Rust that was in point eight. Its first appearance in the Call of Duty game was Call of Duty for Modern Warfare. That's the original one and has recently been remade for Call of Duty Warfare, Modern Warfare, sorry. Again, a relatively small map, shipping containers to hide behind and its symmetrical nature means that both sides of the map are exactly the same layout and is separated by large shipping containers in the middle. It was also based on the popular single player campaign mission, All Gillied Up. I know what you're thinking, another freaking Call of Duty map me. Because we are going to talk about Terminal. 
This map originally started life in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and if you're on the PlayStation 2, in the online lobbies, it was bloody savage. This map is a medium sized map based on an airport terminal, duh, where you can go and fight anyone on the escalator in the duty free bit to going outside onto the runway to try and blast someone as they try to run into the airplane. And if you went into the airplane, you knew some sod was going to be in the cockpit waiting for you, spelling you out, listening to you, and then as soon as you step in, boom, you're dead. It was also included in Modern Warfare 3 as a DLC and can be found on Call of Duty Mobile. So Infinity Ward, we're waiting. You know what to do. Pretty please. Number 5. If you had Battlefield 3 and 4, you would know this map. This map is Caspian Border. Were you saw that light playing close quarter combat within a building and just hiding out as a sniper trying to pick off some poor sod running across the map in the open then you could do that did you like taking to the air in an aeroplane and bombing the ever living shit of someone trying to camp in the trees you can do that or did you like the tanks did you like going into a building and mowing down the building itself and any poor sod in there? You could do that. Caspian Border is a brilliant blend of all types of engagement. Had opposing airstrips. You had jets, you had jeeps, you had tanks. And you had a big tower in the middle that fell if some sod blew it up enough and you may did enough damage to the foundations of it. Last expansive map brought all types of players together to play their style on a map and honestly it was brilliant. Number four is Strike at Karkad. Now when this was released in 2005 with Battlefield 2 this drew a lot of attention from critics of the game as it as at the time there was real world conflicts going on in Iraq and Afghanistan which this kind of mirrored this was set in the Kuwaiti city pitting insurgents of the local militia against US Marine Corps it is a map with plenty of little gullies and hidey holes one was hiding in a building with a sniper rifle and wanted to pop you one, they would. You've got a lot of attention. The players, if you played on it, the players liked it, loved it. This was a sprawling city. So we've got a facelift for Battlefield 3, where the popularity soared once more. Three is a map that has become a staple of the Black Ops series, which is a Call of Duty series. Um, originally intended to be a throwaway map based around a nuclear bomb testing ground, and it is one of the smallest maps in Call of Duty's or any FPS games history. But it's also one of the most popular. I'm talking about. Nuketown. It's with mannequins and dummies and there is a massive truck in the middle. With two houses on with a house on each side with a lovely garden. Pop out of the bedroom window and try and pop the other team on the other side. And if you were caught out in the open in the middle, well it wasn't a good time for you unless you flanked around the back and got through. It was in the 1950s or the 2050s. This has become an absolute staple of the series. And I'm sure if they do make another Black Ops game, this will be in it. Two is undoubtedly the greatest map ever made by the Battlefield team. Yes, I'm talking about Wake Island. It is a map 
based on a real world conflict translates so well into the online video game world. Wake Island is a small atoll just east of Guam out in the Pacific Ocean and played host in 1942 to a battle between the US Army and the Japanese Imperial Army. The map has stood the test of time in the Battlefield series. It was originally first included in Battlefield 1942 in the early 2000s, Battlefield 2, Battlefield 3 and has just been remade for Battlefield 5 and oh my god what a map. The focal po point of the map at the top of the horseshoe is the airstrip. Now back in Battlefield 1942 you had a US aircraft carrier where it would spawn planes but that was taken out for later installations of the game to give it more of a desperation. The team that controlled the battlefield controlled the conflict and that was brilliant. It had its fair share of water um, warfare as well. You had could spawn gunboats and have a little fight around the outside of the anti-aircraft guns around the edges of the island so if you were on a team that didn't control the airfield and you couldn't get a plane the battlefield was somewhat evened up in your favor if you had someone prolific in one of them emplacements this map is just bloody brilliant and the number one pick for this list and i suspect for a lot of other people as well is the GOAT of all FPS online multiplayer maps. I'm talking about Dust 2. Dust 2 was, is synonymous with newbie players that have just got into online gaming in the FPS genre. When I loaded up 1.6 for the first time and I hopped into a server called Dust World, Dust 2 24-7, fell in love with it. Honestly, it's basic layout of two bomb sites in each corner of the map, both of which having two ways into the site. Do you want to hit A site and go long, which is the safer way, or do you want to go through mid to short, which is a more daring, but more rewarding and quicker way? The same with B. Do you want to go through the safer tunnel route? Okay, it's a checkpoint, a choke point, but if you got through there, it would be easier. Or do you want to go through mid to be where you'd get there a lot faster but the reward would be greater as you'd catch your opponents on the flank if you played any other fps game that allowed modded maps to be included into the game you were guaranteed there would be a version of dust 2 on there minecraft did it you know games like you know the Fortnite short-lived limited time mode search and destroy had their own version of dust 2 in it that someone made in the creative suite there and even bloody roblox roblox had dust 2 on it dust 2 in my eyes is the measuring stick for all maps it is well thought out it has got a simple design and my god it is bloody fantastic word that video then please comment down below and continue to keep reading the articles on the site if i get enough of your suggestions please comment down below what are your favorite online maps and if i get enough suggestions i will make a top 10 online fps maps as voted for by you if you enjoyed that video then please stay and watch this space. Thank you for watching.